back to the caravan addies. As you all know, I'm on a course this week. I told you last week. It's uh, Wednesday, 4th of April. <laughs> April. Uh, my sweetie pie, uh, Wendy, and her daughter, Stacey Addy, uh, they're going up to Donkey Creek. I booked them all in for a meal at half past six at the ship. My treat. And when I finish my course at four o'clock, they have no idea when I'm going to turn up. Uh, he's staff turning up now, so I'm just going to turn up and see, look at the face when I get there, and see <coughs> if they let me come on this meal. All right then, go in, see you in a bit. Bye. Right, I've just landed in the office here at TDS. These are the early risers. Morning, guys. Morning. When you, morning, really. when you hear me talk about a guy called Carl Eskiff, this is the guy. This is what makes my job so great. I don't have much dealings with him, young Jordan. The random fella. The right? random fella. Uh, so I'm going to leave him all alone in a minute. This is another guy here, Steve Carroll. Right. Awesome guy. Right, and we also have two or three transport managers. And this is by far the best one uh, we've got. Morning, John. All right. All right. Right, I'm going to crack on. Like I've just said to you, I'm going to sneak up to Donkey Creek when I've left here and surprise my sweetie pie because she thinks I'm not coming. But, right, see you in a bit, guys. Yeah, see you in a bit. 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 Right, all settled down. Just waiting for this Zoom. Uh, Zoom meeting. Usually with about 20 other members of staff. Uh, not from TDS, from all over the country. Uh, this is why I could work in an office. Seven, uh, seven and a half hours I'm going to be sat here, stirring into a computer. Uh, Right, so we'll leave my starter alone, we'll get up to Donkey Creek, and we'll see you in a bit. Don't I look professional? We're all sat behind the desk. Oh, there you go. And it's only five past seven. Long day. See you in a bit. Right, that's me, all done. Um, I couldn't look in an office, my eyes are stinging me. Start my little mini up. Right, I'm on my way to Donkey Creek now. Got to see my sweetie pie. Uh, Stacey and uh, Wendy. Um, that was day three of my training course. Trained today by James Farndon, I think it is. It works for Enterprise Training. Uh, really intelligent, really polite guy too. So thanks for that, James. And I might see you on Friday. You never know. Right, best get going before the traffic comes and I'll go and surprise my sweetie pie. See you in a bit. Bye. Well, I'm here at Donkey Creek. Deb doesn't know I'm coming. So I'm going to surprise her. Uh, can't see the point of me paying for three meals and me not having one myself. I know I've got my phone in my hand, if anybody's asking, but selfie sticks in ca caravan and I'm on private property. Uh, she probably see me there. Oops, where am I going? I drove past, hang on. Right, drove past. Let me get on her when this pitch. Because she's done it car, you see. Right, okay. Hopefully she's not seen me yet. A bit of luck. Right. She might say, Tony, what are you doing here? Why do you have to keep coming spoiling my phone? If my finger's in the road, I can't do nothing about it. Right, I'm going. Oh, let's go and see what she says. Give it me car. Oh, she's there. She's in the window. Oh, she's shaking her head. Let me just show you. Hello, sweetie pie! Why, oh, she's looking at green old face. She's <laughs> proud to see me. Get it. Get a bit closer. <coughs> right, God. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock, isn't it? <coughs> she didn't expect me coming. But, like I just said, if they're having a meal. Ruin my day. What do you mean ruin your day? Right, I just thought I'd come up and surprise you. Right, I'm going now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm, jo it. I'm joking. Shut that door, you're laying I thought, because I'm treating you all to a meal. I'll put money back in here, okay? I'll not take notice. Well, I thought, because you're coming. I'll pay myself. No, I'll pay for it and I'll treat myself. Don't worry, Deb, when we've had that meal, I'll go home. See you in a bit. Oh, when you've had the meal. Yeah, see you in a bit. Bye. 
Yeah, but you're glad I come now, aren't you, sweetie? Bye. It's coming anyway. You are, yeah. Uh, see you in a bit. I'm sat in car. I'm going to meet sweetie pie. Bye. See, I'm leaving them here in Donkey Creek. What? I said I'm leaving you here in Donkey Creek. Yeah. You're looking a bit red in your face. Because I am um, sweating though, it's roasty. Right. Love you, bye. See you in a bit. Right, they're gone. Bye, see you, Wendy. Bye, Dad. See you, Stacey. Right, they're gone. Right. See you in a bit. We're back. We wasn't going to come, but uh, we decided to come. Uh, so, how did you go on with your pizza cake, sweetie pie? I loved it. Eh? Loved it. Loved it. Yeah, it was brilliant. Dirty stop out. She didn't get into after midnight. Yeah, I know, but it was well worth it. Well, I was in bed, so. It was well worth the two year wait. £17 for a drink. Loved it. Yeah, it was a double pinter. A double pinter. She's never had two pints in her life, I don't think. Was it, I oh. think. Uh, the wind's coming, apparently. So we'll see what happens. Storm Kathleen. Oh, it's a woman's name, isn't it? You never. Mum is a little storm, isn't she? Yeah, but you never hear of a storm Tony or a storm Bill or a storm Bob, do you? Why are they always named after women? Are they? Yeah, you. Yeah, storm Debbie too. We're wrong, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Then. Right. We'll leave it there for the time being, and we'll speak to you in a bit. Right. Goodbye. See you in a bit. Find an old... Right, so that's what we're right. we just had a bit of visit um, of the Shuck family. Oh, yeah. The Shuck family. If you don't know who the Shuck family is, it's Stephen Graham Shuck. Okay. <laughs> right, and we didn't know this. When we put our awning up, they also do a bit on the weekend working, putting awnings up for you, don't they? Uh, and they've come on putting any generals up. So I'm going to walk over and show you them. Um, are you having a walk? Are they too viewing? Like I said, we wasn't going to come is because she didn't want me to say nothing, but I'm dying. Uh, Anybody who knows Tony knows if he gets a little so muscle anyway, then he dies. I didn't have... It's killing me, this, actually. I'm holding this. I didn't have one minute sleep last night, oh, so I've had no sleep. You did. You was asleep when I come in. Yeah, but you, you, you snoring woke me up. But... So I've had no sleep, so I'm going to go and show you the shucks and then I'll um, go, come back and go to bed for a couple of hours. Is that alright? Why are you doing that? I'm just saying you don't want me to do anything, because if you did, I can't. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't move. It's killing me. It's hot. I'm it, it, yeah, it is hot. I'm out of condition. Right, so, right, sweetie pie, I'm going to go around there. Alright, enjoy yourself. See you in a bit. Bye. Goodbye. Right, like I've just been saying in caravan then, the Shuck family are here. Um, we didn't know this because when we put our awning up, we found out they go around putting awnings up. Uh, this is Tent Valentin Services. Hey, and it's adventures. Tent Valentin Services. This is Stephen Graham, sons of Graham and John. This one here, Steve, I best not say nothing to him because he's the only person I know what made me not answer back. Hey, got it. No, it wasn't good for me. Lost for words. So, if anybody wants an awning, put it up. Oh, well, they are busy. They've got three tomorrow as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so give the Tent Valentin services a ring. Steve and Graham will come and put your awning up for you. Depending where you are, obviously. Right, I'll come and inspect it in a bit, guys. In a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> Just tried having an hour's sleep. I can't get sleep. I just took two more tablets. Uh, I feel a bit guilty because look at the seal, they're struggling with the wind over there, aren't they? But I can't really do nothing. They're doing it though, yeah, not nearly. Right. Oh, knackered. Right, see you in a bit. Bye. Darren's doing his. To show you again what they're doing. Real big stones under there. So just peg it um, um, Peg every every old one first. Okay. 
Go take that. And when you peg these others here, there, go take that. It's the ground. It keeps all your little moggies out as well, won't it? Yeah. Right. See you in a bit, Darren. See you in a bit, Paul. Right, unfortunately, the start, what's he called, Ed? Storm, who? Kathleen. Kathleen. Just make him a mum. Make him a mum, Storm. Oh, right. Oh, Kathleen, all right, okay. Uh, it's battering Donkey Creek again. Uh, poor Andy Geno, um, Stephen Graham, they had to stop. Uh, they couldn't get it up. Oh, it's my problem, that, I think. But, uh, hello. They couldn't get it up. Uh, Wendy's awning is being hammered, isn't it? And you can see it. It's taking it. Well, it's stopped now. But it's taking a battering. So I'm just going to go and get some uh, tea, some Chinese, and a uh, mix of absurds for my sweetie pie. It's windy and stormy, but warm. It is bloody red hot, actually. Well, I've just looked at weather forecast and it said. Towns East Angular, 22 what? degrees. What? East Angular. No, sorry. I know, I wanted you to say it again. And, uh, East Angular, uh, 22, 23 degrees, which is a record for this time of year. Is it? Yeah. It's warm. But, as you can see, I've no beer in the fridge. The fridge is looking quite bare. Yeah. So I'll have to go and get some beer. Uh, I wish we'd not come with quite on this because. It's man food. Huh? There's beer. Well. I did say I don't come. But, I've had more tablets than pharmacists. Um, and I'm still not can't get. I tried to have a sleep earlier on, but bad idea because everybody's banging pegs in. So I can't get sleep. Right, sweetie, bro. So you slept on the pillows that are not for sleeping on. I bet you've made it already. Yeah, but did you sleep on the pillows? No, not, not on the gold pillows. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Well, why were they the only ones I'm, what have been used? I moved. I moved them. I didn't sleep. I wouldn't sleep on them. I didn't want to slide as anything. Right, uh, what time is it? Sorry. Right, I'm going to get in tea. All right, do you need a different shot? Would you like a cider, sweetie pie? Oh, I can see dust. Would you? I hate when the winter sun comes in. Oh, bad pattern, there, Right. Oh, okay. Would you like a cider? Because I'm going to have to go. Yeah, yeah, go on. All right, then. See you in a bit. See you in a bit, I said. Oh. Bye. Well, I know it's not Friday, but we've just been. Yours looks very nice, actually. We missed then. our, our takeaway. It's only little man. Yeah, we won't Tom's see. He's got chips and curry, and then he's got a portion of. Yeah, but I'm, I, don't put them on there because I don't um, think I don't think I'll eat them tonight. I'm, I'm not, not hungry. I'm just gonna close it up. Not hungry, but yeah. Let him go. Cool. Then put them in the fridge. So that's our Friday night, but we're on Friday Saturday. night and a Saturday. Yeah. All right then. It does look nice. I like. What is that? What's that red stuff? The the chicken. Chicken tikka. No. Are they being red? No, them on there. Uh, them are uh, coffers. Onion badger. Mm. Lemon all over it because I love lemon. Right, okay then. Who's your fat too, lemon? Don't fucking tell me so. Right, we okay both, then. We both need really. I know, but just let's get back into my room pin proper. Because you're already on it every time I yeah, ring you. Yeah, I'm not on it like I used to be. I need to do, I need to get the, the weight I put on all the winter. Right, okay then. Well, you've got your greens on there, any <laughs> Right, we'll get some tea. <clears throat> See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Morning, Sunday morning. We're getting ready to go home. Um, what are you doing, sweetie pie? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I will admit, first of all, we'd like to say sorry about this week's vlog because it's crap. Um, I've not been up to myself. My, I'm not. I am going to work this afternoon. Well, I was, uh, but my sweet pie is saying I'm putting other road users at risk. Is that correct? Yeah. Can you not come in here a bit? I'm just trying to. It bugs me this silicone. Oh yeah, it's a bit. Um, because look, our head. Right, yeah. So I'm just giving them runners but they're really plastic so I don't know why I'm still looking at uh, yeah so she said yeah, I do all man jobs right here all you're doing is putting other road users at risk um, I'm going to sit down I can't go I've had about four to six hours sleep since half past five Friday morning is that correct? is it? Yeah, eh? is it? you know what it is? 
Um, so. Can I just give a quick shout out, please? Yeah, go on. From. Pencil work, son's not bad, me. From Lee Wilson, he wants to wish his wife, Julie, a happy 7th anniversary on the 8th of April. He says he loves you very much. So, happy anniversary happy to you Happy anniversary to you too, for the 8th. What? Mine's 8th. What date is it today? Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, my mind's not with it. Oh, it's 7th. So for tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Right, okay then. Yeah, happy anniversary. Right, okay. Um... The wind's not gone, by the way. Um, I'll say it this. I'm not, I'm not in with it, am I? <laughs> not with it. I want to give two th shouts out. Uh, basically, because I've just had to text my planner, Kyle Eskiff, this morning, and he understands. And he said, yeah, not a problem. Uh, and because I was booked in in Telford at 7 in the morning, but Lee Adams, as well, he understands. And he says, right, no problem, so I want to sort it out. So thanks for that. And my, my sweetie pie's right, I, I will admit. I'm never saying you're ever wrong. I was born. All right, I know it's all right. But she just, what did you say? Oh, you put all the Yeah, you're saying you're in agony and you can't move your, your neck and that. So how are you going to drive? <laughs> oh, wait, there's your wagon. It's 40 bottom Ross. So how are you going to do that when you can't, you can't move? You are putting other road users at risk. So, like I said, the video's not been that good. Uh, we do apologise for that. We shouldn't, ideally, we shouldn't have come. No, we well, we wasn't coming, were we? Saturday morning. No. Uh, I didn't sleep at all Friday night. Um, not at all, actually. I think he had 10 minutes. Um, so, we decided Saturday morning not to come, didn't we? And then me, brainwave here. All because he wanted to get a video out. <clears throat> That's the reason. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. And I just said, I'm feeling a little bit better. And we came. And, um, you know, there's no point just filming it always. Uh, she's cleaning up. So we came and uh, we shunted them. Uh, right, so we'll leave it there, sweetie pie. Thank you, to all our new subscribers. Uh, yes. Oh, but can I just mention, I got a message off Rhonda. She's a subscriber. She's been a subscriber for years. And she said she wondered why she'd not got a notification saying we put a video away and when she looked it had unsubscribed her so can everybody check all right okay and gail harrison i last week i kept getting the name wrong and calling the germs i don't know why i read it now a hundred times i, I called a goat <laughs> yeah she sent me a little boot mark yeah That's but right. she also sent me the little baby daisy what's on the window. yeah so we got in that'll so been delivered to donkey creek can't thank it thank you gail yeah Right. So, yeah, just stop still for a minute. I thought you want to go. I am. So if if you haven't subscribed, which a lot of you still haven't, you're watching, which we're very grateful for. Yeah, thank you. But if you click that subscribe, I'm watch. Tony will be even more grateful. Right, and so I'll give you a big thumbs up. I'm going to get the invalid home. Yeah, she's driving again. She drove me here actually because I can't. I can't drive. Darren just. I know. So that's what I said. I had driving me. Oh, he couldn't even drive time. last night for going and pick the takeaway up. I had driving there. So what's the point? Yeah. And then he says, will you drive home? Well, mm, this morning, Bulty Shop's home here actually on a Sunday. Considering we're having no takeaway, they're not done back again. I know, but we've well, got to uh, stop. When I had to get dra down and drive me at Bulty Shop, that's when I text Carl, you see. So I realised I couldn't drive. So we'll see you next week. I'll be well if I'm still alive. Well, you're going to be dead. You've got, do you know what though? He has got a stiff neck. I've not. I've got. I can't, this arm's dead. It's a bit like his brain. Right, go in. See in a bit. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye.